Today I've got a nice non-linear system of three equations and three unknowns to show you. So let's see what we have. Our goal is to find all real numbers x, y, and z such that x plus y to the power 2022 is equal to 4z, y plus z to that same power is equal to 4x, and x plus z to that same power is equal to 4y. Now before we jump into the solution, I'd like to note that over here on the left, we've got these kind of cyclic permutations of two elements from this set, x, y, z. Here we have x plus y, y plus z, x plus z. Now I'd like to maybe poll you guys. Most of the time written on exams, you would see instead of x plus z here, you would see z plus x. And that's like kind of a trivial difference. Obviously, they're the same thing because we have commutativity of addition. But that's just thinking about listing x, y, and z in order, but not in order like that, more like x, y, z. And so if you're kind of adding them in order, so we've got x plus y plus z plus x plus y plus z, and then deleting one, you would see that z and x are together that way. So most of the time on exams, like I said, it's written like this, kind of based off this cyclic permutation. But I don't know, something annoys me about that, and I like them seeing written in alphabetical order. So I guess that's a really long way for me to ask you the question, which one do you prefer? Post in the comments. Okay, so now let's get to it. So first of all, notice that we have even powers over here on the left-hand side. And then we've got just like constant multiples of our variables over here on the right hand side. And even powers are always bigger than or equal to zero. That means that all of our variables are also bigger than or equal to zero. Furthermore, since we've got symmetry in our variables, we can assume that we have an ordering on those variables. And then we can pick up all like permutations of the solutions that we find. Okay, so anyway, that's a long way of saying without loss of generality, we might as well assume that x is bigger than or equal to y, which is bigger than or equal to z, and they're all bigger than or equal to zero. Okay, so now let's notice that 4 times z is equal to x plus y to the 2022 but x plus y to the 2022 is bigger than or equal to y plus z to the power 2022. And so why is that? Well, we've just replaced x with z from one sum to the other, but x is larger than z. So we clearly get that inequality, but y plus z is equal to four times x. So we have this is equal to four times x. So now check it out. We've got four times z is bigger than or equal to four times x. But that means that x is less than or equal to z. But that means we've got x is simultaneously less than or equal to z and bigger than or equal to z. But the only way for something to be simultaneously less than or equal to something and greater than or equal to something is for them to be equal. So we have x is equal to z, but then since y is in the middle, it's also equal to y. So that means if we get a solution, it will be a solution where all of the variables are the same, but that's really good news because that means that all of these collapse to the same equation, which should be pretty easy to solve. So let's see, this first equation will now be 2x raised to the power 2022 equals 4 times z. Oh, I should say that is 4 times x. Okay, so that tells us that we have 2 to the power 2022 times x to the power 2021 is equal to 2 squared. So I took this x over here and divided it over, taking this exponent down by one, and then I clearly just wrote four as two squared. Okay, so that tells me that x to the 2021 is equal to, let's see, two to the negative 2020. Maybe you would write that as one over two to the 2020, but I think that's really neither here nor there. 
Okay, so finally, we'll get x equals 2 to the minus 2020 over 2021. And then since x must be equal to y must be equal to z, that means that these are also the values of y and z by what we did before. And I guess I should say we did do something sketchy from this step to this step because we divided by x, but you're only allowed to divide by x if x is not equal to zero. So we have to look at the case when x is equal to zero by itself, but x is equal to zero is clearly a solution here because we would just have zero equals zero for all of these. And again, if x is zero, then y and z are also zero. So, or x is equal to zero is also a solution. Okay, so I think this kind of finishes up this problem. So I've got some other videos on the channel where we do nonlinear systems of equations based on this kind of like cyclic symmetry. So maybe I'll suggest this one that's on the screen right now. And that's a good place to stop.